not. Make sure you talk to your raven regularly. They like that. What if... Until I see you next! Where did the others go? I'm off. Just true. You are the wolf kissed one, the raven of battle whose fame grows with each waxing of the moon. I struggle with the choice Hemminger left for me. I would have your counsel on the matter. A slaughter must be made. Many sheep at the bottom of the sleeping Jutten, before the pyre is lit. Follow. Come, creatures. You are to serve the gods and bid them welcome our beloved Hemingway with ale and open arms. Do you have the gift of foresight, Seer? Can you augur what is to come? I see what need be seen, when it need be. A great gift. A great burden. Did Hemminger Jarl consult you often? Did he unburden his woes? We spoke often. Yet too often he left with more burdens than he brought. He worried about the future of his clan. About who would be Jarl? Speak less. Lest our words draw foul spirits to dog us. As you wish. Volva, I... Your heart is restless. Your mind clouded. 
You seek more than a guarantee of good omens. I seek the gods' wisdom. You wish to know who would best serve this clan as Jarl? I do. Between Vili and Trigvi, there is no clear choice. We stand in the shadow of the giant, the great keeper of secrets. Here, you'll find a drink of the resounding sea. Ascend the sleeping Jotun, consume the waters, and meditate at its peak. Do not seek answers to your questions. They will find you. Ascend the sleeper, take the drink, and meditate at the peak. Let the answers you seek find you. Heming a Jarl, is it truly you? Of spirit, not of flesh. Why have you not reached Odin's hall? I will in time. As the flames of my pyre burn, I will ride the path of wood smoke to the All Father's Hall of Champions. I am grateful to see you once more, Jarl. A struggle with the task you set before me. To choose your heir is not an easy thing. One man is beloved, but does not want the task. The other man is fit for the task, but is not favored. I could not give you any more counsel in life, A4. So too in death am I rendered silent. Forget wise counsel and rational arguments. What does your heart tell you? My heart is stopped. It says nothing. This should not be my decision, Hemminger. The choice was always yours to make. You were their chief. As Sigurd is your chief. But that does not quench your appetite for glory as you covet his place upon the high seat of your clan. I do not seek to replace Sigurd. Fate weaved our futures long ago. We're only following its pattern. Yet you see it coming. You welcome it. Shall I renounce my fate then? Abandon the path to glory I walk? No. I want you to die in defense of it. Remember you. Too soon, Heminger Jarl. Your shire's fate is uncertain. I trusted you to make the right decision. I still do.
which is blunted by indecision. You lead warriors now. Never leave. That is why my words should land you. Trust your judgment. You pushed me, Hemminger. I never intended this. <laughs> have no regrets, save for you have given me the great battle death I sought in life. You old fox. Was that the point of riling me up? All father, he comes to welcome me to his hall, and I must follow. The choice you make will be the right one. is tomorrow. The Jarl must be chosen. I should speak with Suniva about this. Did you consult the Volva? And were your questions answered? Some questions were answered. Others I must answer myself. Do you think there is a place for Vili in our settlement? He expressed a desire to live and work with us. Will he not be Jarl of this Shire before the day's end? That remains to be seen. Some are more eager to see Tryggvi in the high seat. Eivor, Tryggvi has no intention to lead. He feels duty-bound to follow his master into death. Absolutely not. My father would never allow such foolishness. How else can I honor my Jarl, old as I am? This is no country for me. The future is yours, Vili. The frames of this pyre will burn for my father. You must live. I forbid you to follow him into death. I will not let you sacrifice yourself. Do you forbid me as a friend, Vili? Or as our new Jarl? As a man who would see you come to your senses. Vili. Tricky. Each man wears one of Hemminger's boots, with both men unwilling to seize the other. Does the world need such useless, dithering men? Why not stake a claim yourself? Take this shire for your own. It is not my place. Your place is anywhere you lay your head, any hill you summit, any silver you take for your own. Do not limit yourself to niceties. Snottinghamshire deserves a leader to admire. A man the people can trust. Most love Vili, and he loves them. But he lacks the will to be leader. He could learn. But does he wish to? And Trikvi, sturdy and wise, and loyal to the legacy Hemminger Jarl left behind. Almost to a fault. But he is old, and his thrill for living has fled him. Hardly inspiring. You cannot! I will not allow it! 
I am not asking for your permission. Only your forgiveness. Gods, Eivor, put a stop to this fool's death wish. This is no small decision, Trikvi. And not without great cost. The Shire will be diminished without you. But I... I have nobody left. My life's purpose lies dead upon that pyre. That is not so. When people look to my father for guidance, who did they see him turn to for counsel? Heminger Jarl was my rock. Yes, I gave him counsel, but he made the hard choices. If Heminger were here, would he not urge you to wield this wisdom for the betterment of all? And was your vow to serve Heminger Jarl unto death, or to serve his legacy and life? I will stay. You have wisdom, Eivor. More than I could have guessed. Eivor! <gasps> Suniva! Pigs were spotted moments ago, lurking in the thicket. Ville gave chase! Arsh stick! You should have roused me first. Show me where he went. Let us wake the others. The dark is lousing with pigs! I can take them on myself. Tell me where. They're not far. I'll show you. His rage has consumed him, Eivor. All this anger, this sadness, it has truly taken form. Our state was never one to temper his emotions. This was bound to happen. I should have been more vigilant. Do not blame yourself, Drenkul. He always had me to watch his back, as children. And again now, if this rampage is what he needs to rid himself of the sick that binds him, I will at least make sure he does not hurt himself. <laughs> Thank Odin he has the mighty wolf kissed as his shadow. There are things we do for family, Sunga. No questions asked. For you, I would have done the same. For any of Raven Clan. We know, Drenkur. That is why we are sworn to you. Here, Eivor. This was where Vili saw the scout killed and then charged after the enemy ahead. I will head back to Hemthorp and make sure our ravens stand vigilant. Return to us safely, Drenkur.
Some top of the When we were children, getting into trouble and getting away. Save your honey words for when we get out of here alive, our stick. Not good. <gasps> ah, my sword's thunder hammer. That quickened the blood. Wild and reckless, like our first battles together. Remember the island north of Stavanger? I do. Chitre the crew trained his berserkers there. Great lumbering fools foaming at the mouth. We taunted them from the treetops. <laughs> and the drunk one, remember? Naked as the morning. Froze his cock off trying to find us. Then fell to humping a snowdrift. <laughs> <laughs> Were you glad to hear from me? I did wonder what trouble you had been up to. But I smiled at hearing your name, and I wondered if you had taken after your father. If you were now leading your clan. Well, you have your answer. I'd sooner take after a troll and leave this clan in your hands. That I will not do. When my father was named Jarl, he had no one to help him, and still he triumphed. But I am not my father. I... I simply want to roam. Do you think Slipnir would be content bound to a stable, no matter how glorious it may be? Hey! What is that for? You have friends, Vili. What about Trikvi? And me? And your clan? Of course. I know that. You can't roam forever. Keep that in mind. You are surrounded by those who love you. And that will not change. Unless you push it all away. You... You speak a truth. I understand. Troll-faced arstick. <laughs> a chicken draugr. Is such a thing possible? For that does not seem possible. Voda too. A water infused with fire. I do not lie. <laughs> Your father's death aside, Billy. This has been... good. Fun even. Do you ever wonder what might have happened if we had not been separated by the North Sea so early in our lives? What adventures we would have had. The raids, the battles, the glory. I even think about what we might have been to each other. I have, fondly. And often enough that it sometimes seemed you never left. Maybe you never did. I... I want you, Eivor. Your warmth. 
your touch. Like this. I cannot say how I will feel tomorrow, Eivor. Shut up, Billy. Billy, you know that, that this was momentary heat, just a flickering flame. Yes. We let our passion set sail just this once. I should get back. Rest. The funeral will still be there when you wake up fully. Billy, gone already. To prepare for the funeral, I imagine. So many Danes, so many Norse. This will be the send-off Heminger deserves. All the will your god water survive these flames? It will. And should Heminger Jarl so desire, our god will be ready to accept him into the kingdom of heaven. All the funeral preparations are in order. Be patient, Heminger Jarl. We're about to send you on your final journey. I hardly recognized you outside of your cave. I regret not seeing my great Jarl again. You have done him a kindness by being here. Now do him one more. Have another drink, or ten. No longer besieged by chickens, I see. Throw the dragons on the fire with the great Jarl. We shall devour them together. Tell me, what funeral gift did you manage to offer your Jarl? Some Voda survived the fire. It will keep Heminger warm in Odin's hall. If he's not careful, that Voda will burn all of Valhalla down. <laughs> I've not seen your face among the Heminger clan. From where do you hail? I come on behalf of the mighty Haftan Ragnarsson of Northumbria to deliver a gift to the departed Heming Jarl. These people are good drinkers and good warriors. Hafton will be pleased. Brothers, sisters, kin and clan. It is time. <laughs> sure, old friend. It is good to see you here. Is Luvina here as well? One of us had to stay in Jorvik. She wishes she could be here. But, alas, our duties never rest. Aye, never. Only Heminger Jarl has that privilege now. Eivor, my father sets forth on his final voyage. May the winds favor him. The nobles have offered up their funeral gifts, all but you. Present what you have, and the celebration may begin. I have it here. A shield bearing the sign of the web of weird woven into the shield as you wove your spirit into our lives. May the skulls sing of you as the gods embrace you. Feast, my friend, in the halls of the free and brave. Stand at my side. Speak from your heart, Heminger son.
Today we mourn the passing of Heminger Jarl of Nottinghamshire, my father, our father. He was a towering force, a strength to fear and admire, now gone. Yet together we are the example of his greatness. I see him in each of you, his love for battle, but also peace, for wisdom, sorrow, and joy. His generosity, his spirit, in you I see his life and his love of drink. God, did he love drink. <laughs> we are these things because he was these things. Father, we shall be to our children what you were to us. And when they are ready, we will meet you again. Give him a fine farewell. Sunua, ride to Hemford and prepare the longhouse for the Althing. The next Jarl will soon take his seat. Dixit at Bulgares, the Terra Super Bus Hemingur Yard was the greatest man I have ever known. Ah, a thirsty foe. Down it faster than me, and you are the victor. Got a wager in you. Put your silver on the barrel. The hort it is. Ha, ah, we drink.
Have they given their Jarl a fine farewell? They have. None drank so well and so deeply as Clan Hemminger's son. The declaration of succession must happen soon, before we are too drunk and exhausted to remember our names. I agree. Call on those who must attend. The Alding will begin shortly. Eivor! You look... uneasy. Burdened by grief. Drowning in meat. And paralyzed by a sword. I stand between that man and Hjaldum. You stand side by side, Vili. One of you must step forward. My father placed us side by side, because he trusted your vision. So what do you see? I see a dringer before me, a man who yearns for the glory of battle. Trigve should be Jarl, and you, you should follow your own path, wherever it may lead. Off a cliff and into the ocean, if that is what you need. <laughs> you know how to ruin a good moment, Wolfgist. Some time ago you asked about living with us as one of our war band. Is that something you still want? To raid with you and Bragi? Gods, yes. Imagine the blood and mead we would spill. For old times then, and new alike. Watch the look on the old man's face when he hears what we have planned. I stand before you as Willy Hemminger's son. But not as a yarn. There is only one man with the needed honor and wisdom. Only one man my father deemed worthy of following him. Trigvi, Jarl of Snottingham. May you walk proudly in Hemminger's path. What is this? Old friend, you deserve this. And so much more. Be proud. My future is elsewhere, Trigvi. I will go with Eivor to live and fight beside the Raven Clan. I... I do not know what to say. Say yes. Yes. Thank you, Vili. Eivor. Well done, Arstic. Until my path leads me home, I serve under your banner, Eivor. Eivor, let my first decree be Hemminger's wish, an alliance between our people. When you call, we will rise. As we shall for you, Trigvial. No one can live up to Hemminger Jarl, but I will do my best to serve in his stead. Thank you, Evo. I entrust Vili to you. Randy will want to know about this. It's time I return to the settlement.
Tarben. Such a joy to see you, Eivor. Just a thought. If you had some time, would you spend a little of it with me? Of course. I was about to go sink my line in the river. Care to join me? I would like that. I did not take you for a fisherman. You That's did not take me for a baker either. Fishing relaxes me. When the bread is kneaded and rising and I wish to be alone with my thoughts, I come here. I know the feeling. My father loved to fish. He would take a flask of ale at the start of the day, and set it at the water's edge, half submerged. At the end of the day, with a dozen fish in hand, he would drink it. Cool and refreshing. I think often of that image. Bad one. Nice! Shall we head back? Yes, I think it's time. That was nice. Hope we can do it again. Happy to. I'll see you later. Yanli, this list, are these debts? No. Those are the names of the deliveries I have yet to make. Still waiting on payment. These are quite far away, and in all directions. It may be they don't have time to travel here. That could be. If you had a mind to deliver them yourself, I would cut you in. Surely they wouldn't refuse you payment. An interesting idea. Maybe when I have the time. Keep the note, just in case. I hope to see you soon. You're a good boy. Willy, making yourself at home? As best as I know how. It is good to be here with you and your people. I feel my life has found a new road. Good, and just so you know, we have all kinds of sticks nearby. Oak, beech, pine, in case your bum starts itching from sitting too long. How kind of you, Eivor. I will be sure to stir your soup with one after I have had a sound scratching. Eivor. I bring fair tidings, Ranvi. Himingar Jarl in Snottinghamshire has passed, but his clan remains allied to us. Sad news, but you made the best of it. 
I saw my old friend Vili on my visit. He has now joined our clan and will serve as a raider on my ship. I remember the young man. He will make a fine addition to your crew. message has come. 